hello guys uh welcome back to my channel Maison african motives still working on mechano techniques and four so in this platform we shall have a continuation on precision measurement uh having a question which is uh from august 2021 which is um one that you just want to focus on and see how we're supposed to answer the questions as we can see we are given a workpiece with a v groove there which had an angle of uh, 60 degrees and included and is of uh, 50 millimeters in depth. So take note here, we've got the 50 millimeters and also the diameter, we have got the diameter of uh, 40 millimeters. All right, so let's see what we're being asked from this part here. So the question was um, asking us to calculate actually uh, to refer to fig two above and name the components labeled one two four that's four marks for that then using the drawing in fig two to calculate the height at the distance edge which is a uh, six marks to calculate the distance edge all right so that's what we actually had in this part so we need to calculate the distance so but the first part was to name these components uh, so you know that this one it's a straight edge uh, that's a straight edge all right the two there uh, is the gauge block uh, that's the gauge block so gauge block and uh, we've got the three which is the roller and the four there which is the v block all right, the V block like that. Okay, so you just name the components like that. All right, so this is the one, the two, the three, and the four. All right, so guys, now the question is asking us to calculate the height there, which is this one from this point to this point. That is our our height. How are we going to have or to calculate this height? So this is the concept, guys. As we can see, our height is found in a vertical line. So at least it is best for us to work with a vertical line in order to find this height. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. Um, I'm going to make adjustments here. Okay, so I'm going to make some adjustments. Sorry for this. But this is what I'm going to do here with the height here I'm just going to make like this adjustment like that I hope it's clear oh let me use this one but you're supposed to at least make a sketch separately guys okay so let's say this is our center here what I'm going to do is uh, work with this part so if I extend this line it is going to divide so from your mathematics this is what is going to happen here you know that uh, these are tangents actually that's a tangent and this is a tangent so what happens is that a tangent when you draw from uh, a circle like this we've got uh, two tangents like this from a circle and from the center like this this line divides this angle it bisects this angle into two equal parts so that means the angle is going to be divided this was 60 which is going to be 30 30 so this angle will be 30 degrees here 30 degrees there so i shall talk about it then we also from this point let's just say this is point a from this point here we just say this is our a here and this is our b okay and this is our c at this point working with this distance because this is to up to this point so i'm just going to put my c here like this then what can i actually do here if i'm to take b to the point here let's just say uh we name this point from B to this point like this so that we can at least formulate a, a radius and a tangent there which is uh, like this so this can actually give us something like a 
90 degrees or even this one that was there or you can join to this side like this you can join to this side maybe if you want but what i'm simply trying to show you is that so you can put this as your d or you can put this one as your whatever the way but this point from this point up to this point here is the same as from the point here to this point also from this point to this point from this point to this point that is the the radii so remember the radius so this uh, equal so bd is the radius ba is the radius from b to this point maybe you can call it f i don't know what you want to call it from b to f is equal that is your radius okay and we know that from this line to this line we are given the distance here from this line to this line okay so what am i going to do now to at least find this distance which is uh from this point i want you to see something this edge here this is from this distance here i want you to see something it's from the end of the circle here and this one if you are to extend it it's somewhere above there like that so are you seeing that it's somewhere above this line here it's greater there somewhere there this edge is this one guys i don't want you to confuse this is your edge here from this point to this point here they're just indicating but is this one this one which is this same height this one which is this same height here all right so this is what you're going to do we have indicated our points here then let's see how are we going to obtain this because we are given the diameter here all right we are given the diameter so this a to c from a to c this one is the same as the two these ones combined together all right from a to c uh, let me just use this marker from a to point uh, from a here to point c if you are to combine so it's going to be these two from a to c if you combine these two that is going to give us um that length so sorry for taking a lot of time but i hope those uh, that part can help us now when we are now writing so ac is this h plus this 50 so it's h plus 50 all right so that means we can uh, make h to be the subject from this one because we need to find h so we can make h to be the subject so h transpose this to this side which means our h is going to be ac minus pose we have taken this to this side so it's going to be minus 50 like this so it's ac minus 50 all right let's work it stage by stage so that means if i can find ac if i can find this length of ac i am able to calculate h so now let's find ac how are we going to find ac it's now easier remember here we've got a right angle to triangle here all right here we've got a right angle triangle that i was drawing in the first place that time and we are given the diameter which is uh, 40 millimeters so remember we can find the radius the radius is diameter over 2 so it's going to be 40 over 2 which is 20 millimeters all right so this is going to be 20 millimeters here which is your diameter 20 millimeters here which is your diameter 20 millimeters here so which is your radius so that is your radius radius so guys even from this point to this point it's also your radius again so that means we need to calculate this distance here from b to c because a c it's a combination of a b and b to c so we can calculate from this one b to c because we can use this right angle triangle remember this is 30 degrees from that half that i talked about previously and this is a right angle triangle this small triangle why am i saying we can calculate ac because from a to b is there this is your radius 
from A to B, but B to C is not a radius. As you can see, it's outside of the circle. That is why we have to calculate this. Okay, so I'm going to write this statement. Maybe it can make sense here. AC, the one that we want to calculate this one, is equal to the radius, which is AB plus BC, according to the points that we have. So it's AB plus BC, which is a to b that is the radius so it's the radius plus bc so the radius is there but we do not have bc so to calculate bc according to the points that i have, i'm going to use this point b c d okay i'm going to use triangle b c d so calculate let's calculate um bc we said calculate bc yes calculate bc so use triangle we said you're going to use this triangle b c d use triangle b c d which is actually a right angle triangle so it's like this let me just have a sketch of the triangle so the triangle is like this this is the sketch there that is your triangle like this so this is 15 uh not not 30 degrees because it was 60 divided by 2 remember it was supposed to be like this 30 30 because this was like this if this is 60 this whole angle is 60 but because of that concept of uh, the radius that i was talking is going to bisect into two so we need to calculate this bc which is opposite to 90 degrees so that means that's your hypotenuse and you are given the radius here because this is your b here and this is your c so you want to calculate this bc but you've got b to d which is your radius of 20 millimeters remember you've got your radius here of 20 millimeters so we are going to use these 20 millimeters to calculate this so according to 30 degrees guys we can agree that this is um the opposite according to that this is your opposite and this is your hypotenuse so remember the ratio that uses opposite and hypotenuse at the same time is for sign from your soccer tour. The sign is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta, that's opposite, so opposite over hypotenuse, which is your opposite here, is this BD over the hypotenuse, which is BC, the one that you want to calculate. So you can substitute as sine theta which is sine 30 degrees is equal to bd which is bd is 20 over bc so that means we can calculate bc yes we can calculate bc in this case so this one is same as over one so you can uh, actually cross multiply this so if we cross multiply this is going to be bc sine 30 degrees which is equal to 1 times 20 which is 20 like that so in order for you to find bc definitely you have to divide by sine 30 there degrees you divide by sine 30 degrees on both sides so by dividing this you're actually cancelling this to remain with bc so what is going to be the value now of our bc so our bc is going to be 20 divided by sine 30 which is a 40 so it's going to be 40 there but remember this 20 was in millimeters so it's going to be 40 millimeters so that's our bc but remember what was the purpose of finding this bc remember the purpose of finding bc is that we need to add this part here from b to c this one to this a to b so that it can give us ac remember that is what we want so we are going to say to find we have already this so our ac in this case is going to be the radius of which you say the radius is 20 millimeters of which our radius is a b that is our radius which is a 20 
millimeters plus BC, which is the one that we just calculated now, which uh, actually gave us that was 40 millimeters. Yes, that was a uh, 40 millimeters our bc remember guys we obtained 40 millimeters there so this is going to give us 60 millimeters so that is your ac so this is the concept that we are having here from a to c we are simply saying this like this this is your a this is your c and this is your B like this. So if you are to cross check there, this is the radius A to B. This one is the radius. So that is your 20 millimeters. And from your B to C, that is this one, which is a 40 millimeters. So you are simply adding the two. That is to find the wall of AC. So this whole line of AC is the one where we are finding this edge here. So we can now find the height edge because we said edge is AC minus 50. So therefore, our edge is going to be from AC minus 50 is going to be 60 minus 50, which is a 10 millimeters remember the units in millimeters are the ones that are given so that is going to be your height uh, which is the length or the distance there in uh, millimeters so that's how they can have uh, as uh, they can ask these questions actually so you need to revise on much questions on such typical questions like this so we shall meet again guys in the next class uh, working on the same question paper but this time we shall be working with uh, another part of uh, where we are given the two rollers there and we are given us to calculate the distance x for that uh, particular question so we shall meet uh, in our next class guys so for the meantime that's what we are having from uh, Mason African Motives. Let's just continue to revise as much question papers as possible as we are preparing ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time. Till we meet again.